As a program director, my job is to bridge that gap with the communication and with the parents knowing what's going on with their child. I think that a lot of parents probably do struggle with feeling anxious when their kids are away from them. They're ultimately giving us the greatest trust in the world, which is to take care of their kid. Ultimately, my job is to make sure that the parents do feel supported, and if there's any other, other questions or concerns, that they can reach out, and my, my contact information is always out there and listed, and I'd love to hear from parents. And I, will. I started working in another industry before working in mental health, and while it was exciting and provided a lot of opportunities, I was traveling a lot, I love to travel, it was meeting all of my financial needs, it was paying really well. Ultimately, it looked like life was going the way that I would want it to, but there was really something missing for me personally. Watching these transformations happen in these kids was just that fulfilling piece that was missing for me. Service is the exact opposite of being anxious, right? Anxious is focused on ourselves, our struggles, what's going on internally, and service is completely getting outside of ourselves, serving those around us, serving the community, and overcoming those struggles that prevent us from doing so. And I think that that's a really magical thing that can happen. Service is a necessity to, in my opinion, live your life successfully. I think without service, really, it kind of, life is a little bit not complete and not so fulfilling. I think that when we're able to recognize our, our struggles and work through them, but then to ultimately overcome our struggles and work in, in an environment where we're able to serve one another, that's when the true growth happens. I think we talk a lot about the growth zone and disrupting our comfort zones, right? It's, it's sometimes uncomfortable to be in these situations where we have to meet new people and serve other people or serve populations that we're maybe not used to or haven't had a lot of interaction with. But I think for us to be successful people and to really grow and, and find out what really matters in ourselves, uh, service is, is required. Um, the biggest piece of advice I would give to someone wanting to work in this field is to understand how much it's going to require of you. Uh, there's a lot of struggles and experiences that our students have faced and ultimately like I've said before, no one here is going to be the single person that makes the change. It really is a village and a community, and that's why every member of the treatment team is so important. 